Hello YouTube and welcome back to Grand Forks Play KSP and in the previous episode we have made Orbit and earned us a nice healthy 70 science earned uh, for a grand total of 75 which means we have some science to be unlocking things however we don't have enough because all these nodes require 90 which means we will need to get some additional science before we are able to unlock some more cool and interesting nodes. So let's just be browsing Mark II command pods, pomegranate re-entry modules, space exploration with leathers, go figure, miniaturization and electrics. That will be all fun. Right. And, oh, electrics, that we need badly. So that will be the first order of business, what we shall be unlocking, because, yes, we really need it, especially the Probodobodine Octo. All right, so that's basically the motivation for doing it. Now, uh, let's build a craft that will acquire us some 20 science, or 15 at least. 15 is something that we need to acquire and it's not too much so I think we should be able to do it. Right, let's see what do we have. Material study that one has the least reports. Upper atmosphere, runway and space near Kerbin. So lower atmosphere and and the landing pad even doesn't have one. Ho ho ho! See that is interesting. Okay, but we need grand total of 15 anyway, so I think we should be able to figure something out. All right. Now, VHQ assembly building. That's our previous rock orbiter attempt or orbiter success. Let's build a new one and that will be a probe based VHQ once again. And I'm thinking doing something really crazy and stupid and Kerbal like probe body and the thumper beneath it however we could do materials bay two of them actually maybe that would uh, bring us into high orbit as planned so then let's see decoupler heat shield 1.25 meters just to be safe on re-entry decoupler that should be about right. Science. Oh, right. We want to pick up science before we are turned into a horrible mess. Too hot thermometer, mystery goo. And I thought to make it simple. Go me. Ha. All right. High orbit data preview. Let's see now. Uh, two parachutes. That's good enough. Uh, antenna another antenna for the ascent good and action groups custom one i don't want to make it necessarily more complicated than this toggle antenna and two just fire all the experiments that you can this is in case of emergency that we need to just plug it and do it all right I think that's good enough. Save and let's launch it. I'm not gonna even say bother saving this one. Okay, three, two, one, and wonderful. We have decoupled. Check your staging, you dummy. Okay, well, let's do some, well, at least we did materials bay and hopefully that will give us some science. Dumb, dumb. All right, now check your staging as always. Now you shall be like that and let's launch. Minor correction, SAS, no SAS of course. Experiment storage unit, there we go. And I think we're about good. Let's launch it, hit it. Let's see how far will Thumper get us. We're shooting straight up, nothing really fancy maneuver node and oopsie daisy. Well, uh, yeah. 
not exactly as planned, right? Well, interestingly enough, it's doing again somersault back backflips and all that jazz, so... Still, I think since I have two material bays, I want to use a material bay from water, perhaps. That should also be doable, so... Let's decouple and throw you away. Atmospheric pressure, let's see if any science could be salvage. Not really. Pop the chutes and then we will be going down. Jettison the heat shield. Yes, no point on having it. Materials base, which reminds me, we have actually flying low or carbon and that alone will give us enough science. Haha, -ha, see? So this flight was pre-engineered and I thought it through. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will be keeping telling that to myself just not to feel terrible because of a terrible flop that I did. Right. However, we still might get some data out of the water, so we never know. Materials Bay, at least. That should at least give us some science. Okay, warping, warping. And I just realized one thing, I have absolutely no control over the probe. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Right, but we have 100 signs, which is the most important. Now, electrics, research, yes please. Thank you, I can finally shed some light on the subject and get some solar panels and all that jazz. But without further ado, we will do a high orbit probe, Probe Robodyne Octo, because that one has an SAS module on, then the reaction wheels, so that it can use them, and then we want a science unit once again, yes, then we want a materials bay, thank you, thermometer, don't mind if I do, this guy, don't mind if I do, Perfect. Two mystery goose. Parachutes, yes. Alright, let's put you here-ish and you here-ish. Because I think an additional parachute wouldn't go amiss. Like, two lights, yes. Perfect. Oh, look at that. It looks cool. Now, let's put a battery. Oh, now we have these inline batteries. Just, they look so cool. Solar panels. We do want to have uh, some solar panels as well. Four of them. Wonderful. Then what else do we need? We need heat shield at the bottom. Yes. Probe high orbit probe one there we go decoupling fuel tank perfect and i'm gonna put the terrier just to test the engine another decoupler might be in use Followed by the FLT-400 fuel tank, because it's a big one. White, white, and you, whatever you want to be. Swivel, yes please. That gives us a total of 2232 two, meters per second delta V. Not exactly stellar, but should be a-okay. Winglets, yes. Decouplers. Four of them, why not? There we go. Additional these two, thank you. Hammers. Remember, I just don't need it to come to, you know, I need it to come to high orbit, so that should be a okay. Reduced thrust to weight, 3052. Oh, communication module. Oh, shoot, I almost forgot it. Right, and then uh, another communitron. 
on the toggle. Perfect. And then these guys that will be holding the rocket. Perfect. All right, and then you shall be pressing at the same time, staging, firing with the main stack, decouple, fire the second stack, and then we're good. Let's launch it. And throttle to max, three, two, one, and kick it. Stable ascent, telemetry looks good. Commencing gravity turn ever so slightly. It jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. Going supersonic soon, which is right about now. Kaboom! And hit it. There we go. Best way to get rid of boosters, make them collide. Alright, the rocket seems to be going hot straight and normal, which is great. We are already high up and actually this looks like a very, very nice stable flight. Wonderful, it's very nice to have an SAS control. Apoaps is 30 kilometers and rising. Coming all the way up, all the way up further and further into 50s. We will soon be at 80. Okay, it's already in space apoapsis and 100. Perfect. All right, that puts us. On 100 mark and then we will do the maneuver node not the manure node the maneuver node yes so add maneuver all right right on the apoapsis and let's adjust it ever so carefully perfect and uh, then we shall be turning, yes, that's the word, turning prograde, maneuver node prograde, and the burn time will be 1 minute 25 seconds, however, it will be consuming th stage 3 and stage 2, so it should actually be a little bit longer than the 1 minute and 22 seconds. Twelve seconds and stage. Oh, it no, it's not. It's actually accurately calculating. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, good job, squad. I didn't know that they actually actually calculate accurately how much time it will be burning. That's real nice. It will help us plan maneuver nodes really accurately. Thirty more seconds, and then we will be orbital. So far, so good. Periapsis is up to seventy five, and apoapsis is climbing all the way up to let's say what what will do five hundred or. 600 for good measure yes perfect and we have some delta v to spare all right time to take some pretty pics let's warp all the way to the apoapsis there we go and the apoapsis is even on the sunny side, which is amazing. And there we go. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Kerbin is so small from such high above altitude above. Now, log temperature. 
Perfect. Low pressure data. Read zero. Yes. Miss Rigu? Goo feels right at home here. Yes, it's a deep space object. Materials Bay. 37.5 science. Beautiful. Let's now decrease our periapsis down to 24-ish mark. Perfect. So I'm guessing I will be keeping this tank. Probably. Just to help me decelerate. Yes. All right. Now let's get back to the dark side of the Kerbin and we, where we will be performing the re-entry. All right. Ready for the comeback. Oh, we, we might want to flip orbit retrograde. That would make perfect sense. Yes. All right, orbit retrograde and kick the gas. So we shall decelerate even further. As much as we can, of course. Not making many big promises. Let's capture all the information from the experiments. There we go. Okay, perfect. Decouple and then... Well, we're already going slowly enough, so we shouldn't be worried too much about the descent. And we are deep enough into the atmosphere, so we will be decelerated correctly. Might as well be kicking a little bit the time acceleration. until we get to a more decent level, 900 meters per second, perfect. 600 meters per second, and as we slow down, I'm gonna be popping the chute. There we go, perfect. SAS off. Let the physics take us home. And through a little bit of time acceleration, I, we are coming back to Kerbin. Waiting for a chute to deploy. Above ground altitude reads 1000 meters and perfect. Now, we only have to come down. Jettison the heat shield. And we will be accelerating the descent a little bit as well. Perfect. Well, I think I'm going to keep uh, this episode a little bit shorter. So once we return, I think this is a good enough, you know, small steps progress. I want to keep it interesting. So once, as soon as we land, I will be collecting some, a little bit more science, recovering the vessel and calling this for the episode, I guess. So, landed. Perfect. And mystery goo, thank you. Pressure data and temperature. And let's recover. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of our episode. As always, you know what to do. Like if you like the episodes, we've got 87.2 Science, and thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off.